Hello, hello and welcome. My name is Michelle. I am your Emotional Resilience Coach and it is fantastic to have you join me here today. If you are just sick and tired of being sick and tired, if you are just wondering why it is you keep repeating patterns in your life, why there's always so much drama, why things are just so difficult for you to push through and move through, you feel like you're spinning in your own life and that you just don't actually know what's going on or why it's going on or why does this keep happening to me, you're in the right place. I was there a couple of years ago, I hit rock, rock bottom and then it turns out my rock bottom had a trap door and I fell down even further. And I was exhausted, I was on the verge of an emotional breakdown, I was really, really sick, I was tired, it doesn't matter how much I slept, I was very emotional, I felt like the best way I could describe it is I felt like my whole body was this one big burn wound and that anybody who came too close to me, that they were going to brush up against it and that it was just going to hurt, it was just going to be so, so painful. And I was just very sensitive, I was coming from a place of reactivity instead of a place of empowerment and I was just in a very, very dark space. And I needed to learn to crawl out and I needed to learn tools and skills and thoughts and new beliefs and I needed to put in a lot of work. And I am in a place of happiness, I am in a place where I'm thriving, I am in a very, very different place to where I was a couple of years ago. And so what I love to do is to teach you the tools that helped me get out of those dark spaces. And this is my passion. I love to do this. I am always reading and studying and listening and finding new tools to implement and try out and see what difference it makes, does it make a difference, how much of a difference, how much time, work, effort do I need to put in, and then I love to come back here and tell you about it and give you something to work with. And hopefully it resonates with you. If it does, that is fantastic. Let me know in the comments how it works. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, the notifications button. If it's not resonating with you, that's okay. Try something else or let me know what does work for you so that I can give it a go and share it with more people. So today what I want to talk to you about is journaling. Now, I have spoken about journaling before, brain dumping, uh, but there was this particular layout that I found the one day and I had been umming and ahhing about it for two weeks. And then I had an experience a couple of months ago, maybe not even that long ago, but I had an experience that kept playing in my head, kept spinning around and around in my head. And I was ruminating and I was looping through the same thing and I was sore and I was triggered again and I was, oh, I was not in a good space. And I thought, let me give this tool a try. And so I did. I sat down and I'm going to go through it with you now. And I went through this process and afterwards, there was such a tremendous shift. It was incredible. And I still am buzzing about it. And it's something that I'm going to be implementing that I do at least once a week to kind of do a clear out of what's happening in our minds. There was something about actually writing things down. What initially I was doing was I was going through the process in my head. And the problem is, is that you loop because there's no way for it to go. It just stays there. So I was ruminating about something that had happened and I was just spinning and spinning over the same thoughts, the same ideas, the same feelings. I wasn't breaking out of it. I was trying to look at it from different perspectives, different view, viewpoints, but I was, oh, I was a struggle. I was just like, oh, this pull, this tug going on inside of me all the time. And I couldn't get to a place of peace about it. And eventually I thought, okay, I've tried all my different thoughts, my brain's resisting it. I need to get this out. And what's beautiful about the writing process is that it allows what's going on in your head to reach a destination, for you to actually have a place to put it so that it really does feel like it is leaving your head. It is coming out. So don't try and find a shortcut like I did and try and do this exercise mentally. It's just not the same. It's not effective. I spun for a whole morning going through these prompts that I'm going to go through with you and I wasn't getting anywhere. And eventually I sat down and I thought, all right, Michelle, just do this properly. And I did the experience properly. It took me just a little over an hour from beginning to end. And oh my gosh, it was amazing. All right, so 
if you are not going to be interrupted, right? You need to kind of clear your schedule. When I read about it, the person who was talking about it said it can take anything from 15 to 30 minutes. All right, maybe it was because it was my first time that I did this. It has become slightly shorter, but it was, as I said, just over an hour. All right, so I would just take an hour where no interruptions, no phone calls, no checking social media, nothing. Put your phone on silent. No distractions, nobody's going to come in and ask you anything. You need to set this time aside because you want to get this down and out in one go. All right, you want to get to, into the momentum of it and the flow of it, and you want to let it just stream out of you. So, first, allow yourself this space, allow yourself this time and this opportunity to get everything out in one go. Second step, pray. If you're not somebody who prays, if you don't believe in a God or a higher power, set an intention. Do a meditation where you set an intention where you want to clear everything out physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. You want to do this cleanse. That is going to be your intention. For me, I prayed. I prayed. I asked my Heavenly Father to help me do this clearing. All right? If that doesn't feel like it resonates with you, just set the intention within yourself. This is what I want to do. I want to do this thorough cleansing. Okay? Then you're going to use the journal prompt. When I think of, you fill in the blank. Now, I'm working through people. I come from a traumatic childhood. I come from a lot of trauma, a lot of abuse, a lot of dysfunction. And most of the time when I get triggered, it is due to somebody in my childhood. That I, if there's a wound, there's a core wound that, oh, it's still being layered, you know, still being peeled layer by layer, and working through the onion, but it's not quite there yet. So somebody might do something or say something, and I know, I know this is not actually them that's upsetting me. There's something deeper going on here, but I don't know what it is. So writing unblocks all the things that we are keeping hidden right from us. All this, all this stuff in our subconscious that is kind of hiding. Writing allows this to start coming to the front so that we can deal with it. So write, when I think of, fill in the blank, I feel, and this is where you want to just free write. You just want to write what you feel. You don't want to judge it. Again, you're not going to criticize it. It's not about my spelling, my punctuation. Does the sentence structure even flow? None of that matters. Sometimes some of the things I wrote for a couple of minutes were just words. Were just words that came out and I just wrote them down. We're giving them a place to go to. So you're going to write and you're going to write and you're going to write and you're not going to stop. Now this is what got scary for me because after about 40, 45 minutes of writing, I thought, oh, where is the light. The light is not coming. What I'm writing is still dark and it's pain and it's sore and it's heartbreak and it's disappointment and it's all the heavy feelings, right, that we have. Where is the light? And I just kept writing. I got it all out, all the pain, all the heartache, all the, the old wounds that really was at the core of what was going on for me. I was writing and I was getting to them and I was getting through them and I was writing about them. And then I got to the point where the light did come and the goodness did come and the strength and the empowerment came where I was able to now that I was able to get all the oh out of my mind, all the bog out of my mind, I could do the shift. I could see it for what it was and I could love myself. I could throw love into that wound that needed love and attention. And I could say, I love you. And I accept you, Michelle. I am not abandoning you. I am not rejecting you. I am here for you. I've got you. I've got your back, right? Whatever it is that is for you, whatever it is that is important for you, you want to kind of end it. You want to feel it. You want to resonate with it. You can feel that vibration in your body. This is where I'm at. This is me. This is what I'm feeling. And you're going to give yourself, you're going to end it with that space of love and comfort. And once you've felt that shift and you've gone through that shift, you want to again end it with a prayer. Now, I did a prayer of gratitude for helping me and guiding me to get to the root cause of things, and then I ended with a meditation. Maybe you just want to thank the universe, higher source, higher being, whatever it is that resonates for you. For me, as I know, as you know, it's God. I just said thank you so much to my Heavenly Father for guiding me and helping me through that process and to get to the root of what really was going on with me. 
And then you do some deep breaths, kind of like a clearing out, a little bit of a mini meditation where you see yourself breathing in good light. So for me, it's always pastel colors, yellows, whites, just soft, gentle colors. Close your eyes, breathe in again, being intentional of breathing in all the goodness. And you're going to breathe out. For me, it's murky gray, a little bit dark, right? You want to breathe out the negatives. Just spend a couple of minutes doing that and doing that, just affirming, I love you and I accept you, Michelle. I have you. I've got your back. And just kind of let it be released. Release it. Let it go. And then you want to burn it. What you've written, you want to burn it or you want to tear it up into teeny wee, shred it up little pieces because we are releasing it. We are letting it go. And it sounds maybe a little bit simplified. Initially, I was like, this sounds too simple. And I do this all the time. But it's the simple, when you put it into practice, that has such profound effects. It really does make such an amazing difference in your life. So give that a go. Let me know how it works for you. Does it work for you? Is there something else that has just really allowed you to go that much deeper in peeling away at this onion? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to please hit like, subscribe, the notifications button, and of course, share with anyone you feel this could resonate with. Have a most fantastic, empowering day.